So you have ultra portable speakers, you have sound bars, you have smart home speakers, and then you have this, an all-in-one party speaker, the new Sony SRX XV800. Let's turn the music up. I nailed that. I went hands-on with two of Sony's new wireless speakers, and I have to say I was pleasantly surprised. Despite its size, this wireless all-round party speaker is built for portability. It can work completely wirelessly thanks to a 10,800 milliampere battery that gives up to 25 hours of listening. Of course, that'll depend on volume levels. This speaker also has a quick charge feature that means 10 minutes will get you three hours of playback, which can definitely come in handy if you've gotta hit the road. At 40 pounds, it's on the heavier side, but with three different handles plus two wheels at the bottom, I could still manage to tote this thing around. In terms of sound quality, think big, think bassy. Remember, this is a party speaker after all. The speaker diaphragm, which has a bit of an unusual shape, is wider than you might see on other speakers. This gives the drivers more room to prevent distortion at higher volume levels. Similarly, most party speakers typically have drivers on the front axis only. Sony's new speaker is an omnidirectional sound speaker with two tweeters on the back that helps with listening for those who are situated facing the rear side of the speaker. If you take a look behind the speaker grill, you might find it odd. There are three tweeters positioned with two up front and one on the bottom here. And that's so that you can put the speaker in two different orientations. When you're here, the tweeters are higher, elevating that sound stage. But if you wanted to turn the speaker this way, automatically it pushes the sound out through these two up here. The XV800 also comes with a huge range of inputs, including two three quarter inch jacks for a guitar or microphones with individual volume knobs. Paired with a physical key control and echo reverb, this would make a great karaoke speaker. Or you could use it as a subwoofer, thanks to the digital optical port for a TV hookup. Sony even includes an optical cable in the box. Personally, I'm a fan of the USB-A out for charging other devices, as well as the battery status button that forces the speaker to tell you its battery level. Using the Music Center app, you can control the speaker remotely with your phone. This includes changing the lighting settings with nine presets that can kind of curate the effects to the sounds of your party or you could set it as a static individual color with the color wheel if that's more your speed. The app also powers some of that karaoke experience I mentioned, as well as the customizable EQ. If you're not throwing parties every weekend, but instead need more of a personal listening experience at a good price, the new Sony SRS XB100 is a fun looking ultra portable wireless speaker that weighs just 0.6 pounds. At $59.99, it's also very value-centric, but it doesn't necessarily prioritize form over function. It also packs some neat features and strong specs. The open design specifically helps diffuse sounds better, supporting the speaker's sound diffusion processor. Between that and the passive radiator, it does a solid job at a wider sound stage, while the cutout helps with bass, giving more breathing room and preventing the sound from becoming tinny. And the sound was, in fact, much fuller than I was expecting. Its IP67 rating and UV coating means that you won't need to worry about outdoor use. It'll clip onto a backpack and can face sun or weather exposure. But I think it's a good option inside for, say, the bathroom. That's because the built-in microphone does a good job cutting background noise during calls, but I'll let you decide if you wanna take that call in the shower. Using USB-C, four and a half hours worth of charging will get you 16 hours of playback, so it should be able to keep up with whatever you have planned for a given day. So, which of these two new Sony speakers are more your speed? Be sure to let me know in the comments. Also check out what we're doing on social, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, at Tom's Guide. And as always, I'm at Kate Kozich. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.